Hi, my name is Gregor Hearn. I'm the founder of Ametrix. Uh, we specialize in conversion rate optimization and engagement tools. This is a quick video on some of the tools and how to get started. We have uh, chatbots, uh, pop-ups and mobile banners, uh, lead sliders, there are pre-filled forms, uh, survey sliders, uh, feedback tabs that stay physically set, uh, need help tabs, offer sliders which you can edit. And the advantage of an offer slider is that when it slides back it stays active so people, you can put a coupon code in and people can open it back up during checkout to get that code. So let's go into it, the dashboard. So when you first start your, your uh, when you log in the, for the first time you have to put your domain name in and you can put multiple domain names in depending on your accounts and then you want to get the code and copy this code right before the end of the head tag in your in your uh, website. Uh, if you have WordPress, you can get help uh, here on how to do it on with WordPress. It works on any site. Um, if you ever get stuck, you can go to the knowledge base. If you have any questions, click support or support here or email us at support at The dashboard is showing the active element, active tools. So this chatbot is active. You can edit it here. You can pause it by clicking active, or if it's pause, it will say pause, and you click it to get active. Uh, this is the reporting. You can delete it. And there's some information here about the conversion. And you can also click here to start editing. You can have other tools. They won't be showing if they're not active. To start your first tool, you would click, click Create Tool, and you can select the type of tool you want to create. Let's pick a pop-up. You give it a name, and you have these uh, options up top here. Most of the tools have the same type of options, um, alerts and connections. This is where you want the information to be sent. It's always sent to admin, but you can add additional email addresses for the leads and things like that or support. You can also connect to Zapier and then connect to thousands of different CRMs, Salesforce and others. Um, targeting, this is where you define where, what page you want the tool to show on or not show on. Triggering, uh, this is how the tool is triggered, how the, how the user is going to engage with the tool and to have it appear at the right time of the user experience. Um, there's a number of different options. Some of the tools have different options compared to others, uh, such as, you know, second time they came to the site, scrolling halfway through the page, time limiting, things like that. Um, and, of course, with mobile desktop, it's effective because it's important to pick the right type of tool because you want a different engagement on mobile, especially for a pop-up. Uh, regarding pop-ups, there's the process of setting a pop-up, and I'll go into more details on other videos for this. If we look at a, a chatbot, the one we had set up here, you can see that it's a little bit different uh, because of the way you set up intents and listeners and things like that for a chatbot. Uh, under the lead form is where you would find the Zapier connection because it's specific for each different type of form or survey you're setting up. Um, the rest of the information is similar. The settings, of course, on a chatbot are a little more detailed. Uh, because there's more to displaying of the chatbot. You always go back to your dashboard again to get your basic information. Again, if you have any questions, always contact us through support at ometrics.com or uh, click support here, support here, or check out the knowledge base.